I'm Kurt Jacobs, host and creator of Moxie Talk, and we're here today at the Idea Festival with Eric Simonic. He is a chemist. Welcome, Eric. Hi, thanks for having me. Appreciate you being here. What has inspired you so far being at the Idea Festival this year, and how has it impacted you? Well, this is my first time. Uh, I love it. Uh, there's a diversity of thought, of topics, and what's really amazing to me is that it's all coalescing sort of around a central theme of the need for intimate and meaningful dialogue across all fields. Eric, what inspired you to write about bourbon and inspired you on your career path? Well, bourbon, whiskey in general, is a great subject to start a dialogue. And it's a dialogue that allows us to talk about big ideas in science. It's a dialogue that tells us about ideas and things that happened in history. And it, it turns out it's a very small leap to apply what we've learned from history to challenges that are facing us today. How popular is your course? How many people do you get when you teach it? The number varies with semesters. Uh, I think it's becoming a little less popular because people have decided that it's, it's harder than they were hoping for. <laughs> it's harder, huh? Bourbon's hard? Or are, you, are you serving bourbon in class? Uh, I'd like to, but the, there, there, are, there are rules that keep me from doing that. I understand. So in your perfect dreams, the vision for the future, your vision, say 40 or 50 years from now, what would that look like to you? I, I think, I mean, that's a difficult question. My, my dreams are, are, are captured in my boys. I've got four of them. And, and I, I'd like them to have the same opportunities that I had, I have now, that they enjoy the same level of satisfaction, and that, you know, the efforts that we're all making today make their lives and the world a better place in the future. In terms of being a chemist, an educator, if you will, as a teacher at um, Texas Christian, where do you see the profession, your industry, changing for future generations? I think we have to change our model for education. The, the fact is we have all the facts, of, all the knowledge available at the touch of a finger. And so what we have to move towards, in addition to delivering on the skills necessary for a given trade, is how to teach students to interpret the world around them in a meaningful and thoughtful way. Now, Eric, this is what I call our legacy question that we ask in our more traditional format of our interview of Moxie Talk. We've asked every guest. It's a signature question. When the great day comes, Eric, how do you want to be remembered? You know, you've got four boys. You're an educator. You've had a lot of students. How would you like to be remembered by them and others? I think I'd like people to say that I ran a, a good, clean race, that I did as best I could, and that in doing so, I tried to make the world, and hopefully successfully, just a little bit of a better place. So Eric, I want to ask you about bourbon. You're a teacher of it. You're a chemist, expert of it. What's your favorite bourbon? I'm sure there's no wrong answer. <laughs> I think that uh, any whiskey drinker will tell you that they're a world of opportunities, and it, it all depends on the day. Some days I like something from this great state of Kentucky, something smooth, something sweet. Other days, something smoky, maybe from Isla. But uh, the nice thing about whiskey and the nice thing about any passion, it's, it's, it's a lifetime hobby that uh, is a good place, a good thing to start once you hit 21. <laughs> I think that's a great note to end on. Eric, thank you so much for being on Moxie Talk with Kurt Jacobs. Thanks for having me. Thank you. I'm Kurt Jacobs here today at the Idea Festival. We'll have more to come.